So I have six kids, five boys, one girl. Uh, my, daughter is, my daughter is 15, she's beautiful, straight A student, made varsity cheerleader as a sophomore. And the boys are knocking at the door now. What's the right age to let her die, to date, let her date? 16, no, I don't like you. I need a dad, dad, what's the right age to let my daughter date? There's not, yeah, that's a good answer. There's not in the right age. I told her 33. I said, Jesus never went on a date. If you outlive the Lord. <laughs> My dad was a preacher, and I found out at 12 years old it didn't pay to be funny. My, my dad would go from church to church preaching. And I always take one of us kids with him. And I'm sitting in the front row of this big church, 500 people on a Sunday morning. And before my dad starts to preach, he surprises me. Mijo, stand up and tell the church something about yourself. I'm 12. I'm scared. I got a good life. I live at home with my mom and dad. What, is, what am I going to testify about? But I stood up and my sense of humor kicked in. And I faced the congregation and said, my name is Dennis, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Oops, wrong group. <laughs> it's a good joke for the dry bar. Everybody thinks if you grow up in a preacher's home, in a good home, everything's perfect. No, my mom and dad would get into disagreements. But if my mom got upset, my mom was half Mexican, half Puerto Rican. My dad never wanted to lose his temper when he was having to deal with my mom. And one morning, it was Saturday, we were going fishing. Early in the morning, and my mom started getting on my dad's case about getting some chores done around the house. And... Whenever he got upset, he would just throw out a scripture or a biblical principle. Do not try this at home. <laughs> when she started getting on his case, he looked at her and said, Ye without sin cast the first stone. <laughs> That's the wrong thing to say to a half Mexican, half Puerto Rican woman. <laughs> when he said, Ye without sin cast the first stone, she was like, Jesus is my rock. I'm sanctified. And busted him upside the head. <laughs> More jokes. I'm just looking at you guys. <laughs> we parent different. I don't buy into the politically correct mentality that we're all the same. Who's tired of the whole politically correct mentality where you can't? You know? If you want to see politically correct comedy, you need to go see a non-smoking, drug-free, vegetarian, bisexual, handicapped, Native American, senior citizen female that drives her electric car to her job at the recycling plant. I'm not the one. <laughs> We do things different. I don't buy into the hype, we're all the same. To say that we're all the same, we're all equal, but to say we're all the same denies God's creation as far as I'm concerned. He knew what he was doing, he made us all a little bit different. Look how we parent. Each ethnic group does it a little bit different. No one gives better parental advice than my white brothers and sisters. You guys give statistics and facts. <laughs> you guys have flyers on the refrigerator, it's beautiful. <laughs> Just say no, Billy. <laughs> a Mexican mom doesn't give statistics. She doesn't give facts. She'll just give examples. <laughs> You're gonna end up like your cousin Lupe. Some cultures, you could talk back to your mom. If you grew up in a Latino home, you cannot talk back to your mother. You let your kids talk back to you? 
they talk back to you and you let them live? I mean, you let them get away with it? <laughs> I remember I thought I was old enough to talk back to my mom. She whooped me and grounded me for two weeks. Had to call my wife, let her know I couldn't come home. <laughs> Baby mom is tripping. <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.